Hello everybody, I'm Thomas and welcome back to the 16th video of this series in which I'll be playing through the Hadrian's Wall solo campaign. Today I'm going to be attempting fort number 11, Bana. Bana means horn in Celtic and reflected the geography of the site. The builders of the turf wall had to clear woodland and drain a small bog before construction could start. For the fort rules, every box along mining and foresting track requires two servants to fill in. For the fort goal, I have to get 70 plus victory points, and for the challenge, I have to get 15 plus victory points in three of the attribute tracks. I was able to complete the last fort, getting the extra bonus for this fort, so I'll post a picture there of the result of that. Let's go ahead and get started. So for the first supply card, all right, there's that, and then seeing what my path cards are, either constructed landmarks or resource production, uh, I'll probably go with resource production, that tends to be a bit on the easier side compared to landmarks. And then after I fix my whole board here, I get two extra resources and a third because of my board. And yeah, with that done, we're on our way with your number one. It's nice I can actually build the wall and sit be like normally this time. So I'll probably start with doing something simple, like, you know, building the fort out. I always like doing that to begin with and at least building some of the wall so I can get a civilian back. Yeah, this fort, I'm not sure what my plan is. I mean, obviously mining and foresting is going to be a bit harder to do, so I feel like resource production is actually going to be a bit trickier this game. I, I'm going to want to get a lot of servants, so I want to make sure to get the courthouse. Um, what else? I might want to do some others. I mean, the hotel and workshop could be helpful. Besides that, I just need to get a lot of points, so I just need to make sure I'm focusing on my path cards up here. So uh, it would be nice if I could get some... Well, I need to get some cohorts for this year. So let me start out by at least spending two of the soldiers on the wall guard. The first will get me a cohort, which will go with the right one. And then the next will get me just a little bit of discipline. Okay, I'll spend both of these civilians, one on the trader's track and the other down here on this track so I could get a servant plus a builder. And then I'll use this builder on the fort along with this builder also on the fort because then I can spend two resources on the wall and I can get a civilian, which then I'll go ahead and spend on the priest track to get me another servant. And with these four servants, I'm gonna fill in the first two boxes of mining and foresting. And that'll get me a resource production along with a resource. So I think it, this is actually a good move. So I can use the, I'm glad I saved that soldier because I can use them on the fort and that'll get me a civilian which I'll go ahead and spend the civilian on the performer's track to get a builder, spend that builder on the training grounds so I can cover that other cohort. And I guess I'll go with the center one because then I can spend at least this resource here, which is pretty nice. I'll get some renown and I can cover another cohort. I'll go with the left one. At least with this first year, I'm safe with my cohorts, which is a pretty nice situation to be in. I have a couple of leftover resources. I don't have any buildings to use them at, which I can at least use them on the sippy, which is nice. I won't get anything from them, but it at least gets that going and I'm not wasting resources like uh, like last game. So yeah, that's it for year number one, one pick attacking. I have everything covered, so they hit left, not very exciting, but oh, I need to make sure to grab my Valor from that. Cool, all right, so I'm gonna get rid of these cards because I don't need them anymore. See what the new neighbor cards are and we'll see what my supply card is for this year. All right, then we'll see what my path card options are, either large buildings or gladiator strength. Jeez, I guess I'll go with the large buildings. I don't really plan on going for gladiators, especially because servants are gonna be so scarce. Um, I'm not gonna be wanting to spend them on gladiators. So I get an extra servant and resource because of the card, and then I get two because of my board. And yeah, with that, we're on our way with year number two. So what do I want to do this year? I mean, just make sure I get some more cohorts going to protect myself. Uh, besides that, it would be nice to build the hotel and maybe the workshop as well. So maybe I'll start with that. I'll build, because I could build at least the hotel, right? So I could spend that, that, and a resource to build the small hotel and that will get me a civilian back. So then I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna spend two civilians on the trader's track because that will get me a builder. And I'll use that builder on the fort just to progress that a little bit more. Then I will spend a civilian along with a servant over here to build the small precinct. So I'll get a piety and a resource production along with a resource. 
I will then spend these three resources to build the small workshop because I could do that now and that will get me a builder back. I'm glad to have both the hotel and the workshop built. You know, I would have preferred to do it last year, but um, year two is still a good year to have them. So at this point, I'll probably just, oh, uh, hmm, what do I do? Because if I get to the end of here, I could build a sippy that way. I have two servants. I could do a form. Hmm. I don't want to use a form with them, so I'll probably just kind of do what I was saying. I'll use a builder on the fort, and that'll get me a civilian. And oh, that, that could be helpful, because then I could spend the civilian on the patrician's track. That will get me a resource, which I'll immediately spend on the wall to get me that civilian back. I will then spend this soldier on the fort. That'll get me a bit of discipline. And mainly it'll put my sippy in a good spot. So now I can spend a resource there and get another cohort to cover. I'll go with the right one. Not feeling too confident about my cohort situation, but there's not too much I can do at this point. So I will spend both of these servants up top to fill in another square on mining and foresting. And then I have a civilian left over. There's not a crazy amount I can do with them. At least I wouldn't gain any immediate benefits this round. So I will just put them on this track so I can build the courthouse on the year I want to. And yeah, with that, we're done with year two. Two picks are gonna be attacking. I got one, one, and two, so I'm not feeling crazy confident, but let's see. So we got a right, that's the best one. That means I'm safe. And another right, cool. They both hit the same side, but luckily it's the side that I had two at. So that works out pretty good. So that means I get two Valor and I will be starting this next year with a soldier. All right, let's see what my supply card is for this year. Cool. Then I get my path cards, either completed scout columns or filled temples. Jeez. Um, yeah, probably, I guess scout columns because filled temples, I mean, I would just need a lot of people to fill those. And yeah, I don't really have a lot of people because a lot of my servants are going to be doubled up on mining and foresting. So yeah, I'll just try to go for complete scout columns and actually do some scouting, I guess. Um, then what else? I get three resources. Got that from my resource production. Then I get a civilian because of my hotel, a builder because of my workshop. And yeah, with that, we're on the way with year number three. I almost said year number two, year number three. And the first thing I'm going to do on year number three is build the medium granary because that's something I pretty much always do in year three. I'm then going to spend uh, two resources on the wall just to get that other cohort. And things look a little bit even, so I'll just put it in the center for now. Okay, I'll start out by spending one civilian down here on Patricians, and then I'll spend these other two over here on the priest track, and that'll get me a servant back, which then I will spend all for these servants to do some mining and foresting. The first box doesn't get me anything, the next gets me resource production and a resource. So then I will spend these two soldiers on the wall guard. First gets me nothing, the next gets me a little bit of discipline, which does get me a builder back. And I'll immediately spend that builder on the wall guard, or sorry, on the training grounds to send them, yeah, on the wall guard. I'll get a sippy, or not a sippy, a cohort to fill in. And um, yeah, I'll go with the left one. Yeah, I was gonna maybe try to build the small road this year, but that's not gonna really happen, I don't think. So I will just spend both of these builders on the fort and get at least one civilian back. And I will probably just put the civilian towards this track, which gets me a soldier, which I'll immediately spend on the fort, which gets me my civilian back. Okay, this is gonna be kind of weird. I'm gonna spend a civilian down here on the patricians. That'll get me a soldier, which I'll immediately spend to do some scouting and I'll go with this bottom kind of row thing there and that'll get me two resources back. So I'll go ahead and just spend one of them on the sippy. That will get me another civilian to do something with. So then I can at least spend two resources on the wall. The first gets me a little bit of renown and the next gets me another civilian. I'm really just trying to map, map out how I can do this here. Um, well, I guess I could do the old spend a civilian down here on patricians. That'll get me some renown, which gets me a civilian back. That gets me somewhere. Actually, I should be able to do this. No, I am not going to be able to do this. I am one thing short because what I was trying to do is get two resources so I could build this 
cohort. I don't, I, I would be able to, I could put civilian on the patricians, that'd get me my second resource. But the issue is then I can't build this because this chain link thing, I would need to put either a soldier or a builder there. And I don't have a way to get that with just one civilian. Um, that's unfortunate. So I'll probably just put both of these on this track then. They'll get me a little bit of discipline and then a builder, which I'll just send on the fort. And then my one resource, that's that's a shame. I was just one resource shy from getting that cohort, but hopefully that's okay. We got four picks that are gonna be attacking. So I got two at each cohort. So let's, let's see how this goes. We got right. We got center, okay, come on, be left. Center, just don't be center again then. It's a left, cool, that is pretty good. So I defended against all of them. So I will get two Valor from that. And thankfully, not taking any disdain. All right, let's see what my new supply card is gonna be. All right, pretty good. And then my choice of path cards is either collected goods or completed wall guard sections. I don't really plan on using the market, so I'll just go for wall guard sections and hope for the best there. So that card will get me an extra civilian and resource. Then because of my resource production, I get four extra resources. All right, and then I get a civilian from my hotel, a builder from my workshop. With that, we're on our way with year number four. So like I always like to do, I'd like to try to build the courthouse if possible. I think also the extra servants I can get from the courthouse will definitely help with the uh, mining and foresting doubling up uh, thing with this fort. I think the other thing I want to try to do this year is also build a small road. The issue is I need two servants for this, two servants for this, and I currently have one servant. So uh, I'll probably have to go down the priest track a little bit. Um, besides that, maybe I have to do a form. I don't know. I have a lot of resources. So if I progress down the fort, I should be able to get stuff on the wall that can maybe help extra civilians to help get more servants, something like that. Um, I also just need to make sure I keep up with my cohorts because year four is a tough one. There's going to be six picks attacking. So I make sure I at least have three more cohorts, which I should be able to get to this one and that one and that one and probably that one. So I should be able to get everything up to three and maybe one of them up to four. Maybe that'd be kind of nice. And that one up there. So one, two, three, four, five extra. I can almost double them up, but we'll see what happens. So I'll start out by just spending one builder because I want to try to save as many builders as possible. And that will get me a civilian, which I'll definitely be using these civilians a lot this game, or at least this year. Um, then I will spend two on the wall. The first will get me a bit of renown and I can fill in a cohort. I'll just go with the center one. Gets me a bit more discipline. Then I will spend, what else? Another? Resource on the wall or did I already spend two? I think I only spent one, so another resource on the wall. Then, this is a tough situation. Um, I guess I need to start getting some servants. So I'll spend two civilians over here on the priest track. The first gets me some piety. The next gets me a servant. And with that, I can at least then spend the one builder, two servants, and two resources to build the courthouse which will get me a bit of renown. And then I can use its ability, right? Cause I'm at least level four and the year is four. So I can get a servant that way. And then because I'm at least, oh, I still need to go up one more on this track. So I'll go spend a civilian on this track. That'll get me a bit more discipline, which does actually get me another builder as well, which is pretty nice. Um, but the main thing I wanted to do is now that I'm level six, I can use both courthouse abilities and pretty much get myself an extra servant because then with that, I can build a small road at this point. So I think I will. Um, builder, two servants and a resource. I can build the small road. I can either get some piety or discipline. Uh, I think piety is the one I'm gonna focus the least. So I'll go with some discipline. All right, I will spend these two soldiers on the wall guard. The first will get me a little bit of discipline. The next I can fill in a cohort, which I will go with the right one. And that will get me a bit more discipline, which does get me another builder, which is extremely helpful. I'll actually spend that builder on the training grounds, year four, to actually, never mind. I won't do that, scratch that, because I already have that cohort, so I don't need to do that. 
I'll just keep the builder. I would just spend actually both of these builders on the fort. The first one doesn't get me anything. The next will get me a little bit of discipline along with another cohort to fill in. I'll go with the left one and get some more discipline because of it. Then I can spend resource on hmm, the sippy. Is that the move? That might be the sippy. I can fill in a cohort. I'll go with this center one. And then I'll spend the civilian on the patrician's track down here. That gets me another resource, which I will spend on the wall, which gets me civilian back. Okay, this is gonna be good. So I can then spend the civilian on patrician's track. That gets me some renown, which gets me a civilian back. I'll spend that civilian over here to get me a soldier. And then spend that soldier down here to do some scouting. Now, where do I want to scout? Um, I need to get some columns going, I guess. So I'll go one, two, three, four. That'll get me a resource and a servant. I will then spend the resource on my wall. That will get me another cohort to fill in, which I'll go with, I suppose, the right. And I just have one servant, which is unfortunate because I can't use them up top. I don't think I have anywhere else I could use them. Yeah, I think that's it. So. Six picks are gonna be attacking. Okay, so I'm sitting at three, four, and four. We got six picks attacking. Let's see how this goes. We got center. We got center again. All right, we got center again. Left, and just don't be center. Left, I think at this point we're safe, right? Yeah, even if it's center, I had four there, so I am completely safe. It's pretty good. All right, yeah, since I blocked all those, I get three Valor. So that will start me with a soldier. And then let's see what my supply card is. All right. And then let's see what my options for path cards, either complete citizen tracks or completed wall sections. I'll probably go with the wall section. Tends to be a little bit easier to complete, I think. And that will get me an additional servant and civilian. Both should be incredibly helpful. And then I get four resources for my resource production. Then, um, then I get a civilian because of my hotel, a builder because of my workshop, and then my small road allows me to fill in something down here. I'll go with some valor because then I get an additional soldier. And yeah, with that done, we're on our way with year number five. Okay, I think I'll start, yeah, I think I'll start by first building the large granary. So I spent the builder, servant, and two resources to build that, and that will get me a little bit of renown. That's done. Then over here, I'll go ahead and use the courthouse ability to grab myself a servant. I will then use a soldier over here to do some scouting. And I'll scout just this bottom part so I can maybe be in a good position to scout next year and get some stuff. That also gets me a resource. I also completed that row so I get Valor. I will spend one civilian over here on the priest track. That'll get me a little bit of piety, which gets me a servant. And then I will spend all four of these servants. Wait, one, two, three, four up here on the mining and foresting to clear out some of that. I will then spend a civilian down here on patricians to get me a soldier, which I'll spend over here on the wall guard. And I'll go ahead and spend these two soldiers also on the wall guard. I'll get me a little bit of discipline, which does get me a builder and then the other one gets me a cohort, which I'll go with the left one. So now I have four each cohort. I will go ahead and spend both of these builders on the fort, expanding that a bit more and getting another civilian to do something with. I will spend at least one of these civilians on the priest track. That will get me another servant because then I can spend both of those servants on mining and foresting to increase my resource production along with getting a resource. I can then spend two resources on the wall. The first will get me some renown and the next will get me a civilian. I guess I can also spend a resource on the sippy to get me some renown and that'll get me another civilian. Okay, I will spend two civilians on this track. The first will get me a bit of discipline. The next will get me a builder because then I will spend both of these civilians in a form to get another builder. So then I can spend both builders on the fort and that will get me a civilian back. And then I can spend both of these resources on the wall. First gets me nothing, the next gets me 
a bit of renown along with a cohort to fill in, which I will go with the right one. That gets me a little bit extra Valor as well. And then I will just spend this civilian up here on the trader's track. And with that, that is the end of year five. There's gonna be eight picks attacking. Okay, so eight attacking. I have four, four, and five. So I think I'm sitting in a pretty good position. We got right, we got right. What's next? Another right, now we got left, left. Okay, halfway there. Got another left and another left. So we're maxed out on the lefts. We got a right and just don't be a left. It's a right, so I am okay, surprisingly. That was close, none hit center, but I'm okay. So with that, I get three Valor. That gets me an extra, what's it, soldier? starting the next year which is pretty nice and let's see what my final supply card is here okay then my final two path cards either completed cohorts or final disdain um both of those are pretty good options but yeah i'm gonna I'm go with final disdain and get that extra soldier then resource production i get one two three four five all right then my hotel gets me a civilian my builder or sorry my workshop gets me a builder and then i have my small road so I think at this point, I'll go for some Renown, because I'm falling a little bit behind. And yeah, I'm trying to get Discipline, Valor, and Renown all above the 15 mark for the uh, challenge on this. So hopefully that'll work out. But uh, yeah, so with that, we're on our way with the final year. So before I forget, I'll go ahead and immediately use one of my soldiers for scouting over here, because that is a, just the shape I needed to get two columns. That will also get me another servant, which is pretty nice. I'll go ahead and use the courthouse ability. I didn't use the second ability of the courthouse that would have gotten me an extra servant last uh, last round. Whoops. See, I use that to get me a servant. And then should I go ahead and just use the other abilities? Because then I could just fully build that out. Yeah, I probably will. So I'll go six and six to get me an extra servant. And then I got two, four, six, which I will spend all of them to do some mining and foresting. So I can go one, two, three, raising my resource production along with getting a resource. So I then spend two of these builders on the fort. I wanna save at least one builder and I'll get a civilian back and then I'll spend two resources on the wall and that will also get me a civilian. I will then spend these two civilians on the performer's track, which will get me a servant. Okay, I think I'm going to, I want to build a large building, so I'm going to build the large hotel. And hopefully that's not a big mistake, but I need to build something. I think that's the cheapest for me. So I can get some renown along with the civilians. I basically get two civilians because of the attribute track giving me an extra. I will spend one civilian down here on patricians, getting me a little bit of renown. Because so I want to spend probably one soldier down here. That'll get me a bit of discipline, along with I can fill in a cohort. They're all matched pretty much the same, so I could go with Valor. Okay, this is good, because then I will get another soldier, and then I could basically send all three soldiers up top, right? And then I'm sitting in a really good position, right? Because all three of them go to the wall guard. First gets me nothing. The next gets me some discipline, which gets me a builder back. The third gets me a cohort which is really nice. Um, I'll go with, I suppose, the left one, get a little bit more Valor, and then I just need to get two Renown somehow. I will first spend both of these on the Scipion wall to get two more cohorts to fill in, and I'll go with, uh, I don't know, I guess the uh, right one, which gets me a bit more discipline, and then the center one, which also gets me a bit more discipline, which gets me some more valor, which gets me some more discipline. I think I see the move. I've been staring at this for so long, trying to figure out how can I get renown. And I was thinking about getting some resources to build a theater. I'd only get one, the civilians. I can't get down these tracks. And then it hit me, landmarks. Of course, I could build the statue landmark, which would give me two renown. And that's exactly how much I need. And I can't do it. I just need the resources, but that's easy because one civilian on the trader's track, I get a resource and then one civilian down here on the patricians gets me a resource. And with that, I could build a statue, right? Spend the builder and the two resources over here to get to renown. Oh my gosh, I was trying to figure out, I was gonna be so mad if I couldn't do that because I was so close to getting all the, 
three of them to 15. So now I got two extra civilians left over. There's not really too much I actually can do. So I think I will just spend both of them on the priest track. That'll get me a little bit of piety. And then that will also get me a servant, but I can't do anything with that servant. So that is the end of year six. There's gonna be 10 picks attacking. Okay, so 10 picks attacking. I'm sitting at, what is this? Like five, six, and six. So I should be good, but uh, let's see what happens here. So we got center, kind of sticking together. We got right, we got, what else left? Pretty even spread so far. We got right and right and right again. So was that four rights? So you got center, center, that's good. I think I'm safe at this point, right? Yeah, left and right. So yeah, I'm definitely safe. I didn't take any disdain that entire game. That is pretty awesome. So I get, what is it, four Valor? One, two, three, four. That would get me a soldier, which it doesn't matter. And I get some renown, which is always helpful. And yeah, that is the end of the game. Let's go ahead and tally up the total. So I have 16 from Renown. Got uh, four Piety, 21 Valor, and 18 Discipline. Let's see how my path cards went. Eight, nine, 10, 13. So 13, I think that's uh, what I got. And that seems pretty good. So no disdain. Let's see what I got. So my total was, let's see, 16 plus four plus 21 plus 18 plus 13, 72. Wow, first try I was able to beat it and I got the challenge, right? Because I needed at least three attribute tracks to be 15 and I have renown, valor and discipline. So that's a win. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. I'll be back next time attempting the next fort. So subscribe if you want to catch that. And if you want to see one of my recent playthroughs, click up there in the top right corner of the screen. 